Well, we saw a spark from metal hitting metal, but that's about it. There doesn't appear to be any fire or an explosion. So we'll have to investigate what could have happened, so we can make sure it doesn't happen again. Let's start by considering the antenna in normal operation before it broke off. The antenna that broke off must have been connected to a generator somewhere in the Millennium Falcon. We can imagine that the cables or wires connecting the generator to the antenna were easily electrically long enough compared to a wavelength to be considered a transmission line. So we'll have to use transmission line theory to investigate how the inner conductor could have melted. Here I put up a typical diagram of a transmission line as we have been considering so far. Question to you. Does this diagram properly describe the scenario we have for a generator connected to an antenna, such as the one on the Millennium Falcon? Or is there anything we need to change to account for this new situation?